everyone, welcome back to our YouTube. Um, I, uh, oh, Myla saying hello, one second. Myla, speak. Myla came to say hi. Saying hi. Um, I am about an hour and a half, what is this hat doing, into grooming Nico. If you can see that there, I'm gonna flip the camera so it'll be better quality in a second. Um, my arm's already killing me. It's a workout, to say the least. Um, <laughs> Milo's really talkative tonight. Say hi, Milo. You need a groom as well while we're at it. Um, and yeah, I thought I would just show you what it's like when your dog starts to shed. I've done a few of these videos before and everyone loves them. Um, they love the fact that I do it in the kitchen as well. I think that really grosses people out. Um, Look at just just for everybody that does get grossed out by this. That is a lot. That's another dog. Let me just. I don't think you can appreciate them. This is only like fifty percent of what's going to come out of Nick's as well. But it's a lot of her in shed season, and I need to do Teddy at some point. But I honestly don't think I have the energy tonight to do Teddy too. But yeah, this is what is out of Nico so far, and. Um, Honestly, I'm procrastinating, let's be honest. I don't want to continue it, but I'm nearly there with her. So I feel like if I just push heads and at least that's one dog down. Another one to go. You're going to be done tomorrow. Yay. But yeah, I thought I'd show you. Um, if you do have a Malibu, a Husky or any dog with an undercoat, then I'd highly recommend a rake brush, if you don't know. Um, it looks like this. And it basically just gets in under the um where the like matting can be when you've got the undercoats pulling out and that's what gets all the bits out and yeah this is the best comb you can buy I actually need to get another one because this one is like falling apart it pulls out of itself now so oh, am i gonna get a kiss thanks my little caught cool, on camera he does it all the time um oh yeah also a cat on a worktop please are gonna be having a fit my little Anyway, back to what this, the purpose of this video, we're like two minutes in and I've not even got into it. Brushing Nico, she's shedding massively and I've left it for about a week to get as much out as possible. Let me see how I can put you. I can stick you here. Is the backlight gonna be too much? Possibly. Sorry, there's a big window there. I the backlight isn't gonna let you see anything. Let me try there instead. That might be better. Okay, Nico. Move the fluff. Moses parting. The Red Sea. There we go. Hi, right, Nico. Come. Come on. Come on. There we go. And um, by the way, that black line is the railing. I'm sorry, I can't get out of, that, out of the frame. Okay, I'm going to try and create a cloud for you. It must feel so much better when we get rid of all of this, Nico. It must. Okay, here it comes. Wait for it. Oh. And that's what just keeps coming off of her. Oh, here we go. Wait there. This is a good one. Stay. It's, yeah, it's showing. So you kind of, um, if you've not done this before, you have to like pull the fur up to release, to show the undercoat, if that makes any sense. So you kind of like pull it back and then get to that undercoat bit. Oh. And that's how you'd, oh, that's Nico growling at Myla, by the way, because Myla's about to start rolling around in her fur and she's going to guard it from him. Yeah. Is that nice? People are going to think you're growling at me there. They are. You wouldn't, would you? There you go. Lovely. Do this bit. There you go. That's a good spot there. Good girl. Look at that. Look at that. Belly as well. There we go. Oh, you see under leg. There you go. Is there any here? 
Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Rico. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I'll hold this. No, don't like that bit. There we go. There you go. Who's a good girl? And then basically you repeat that for um, the next like two and a half hours and then you're done. And you have um, your hands are covered in calluses from grabbing the brush and your arms are killing you because it's, it is a major arm workout that you don't realise. I'll just show you now. Okay, try and keep it on my room so you can see. But yeah, just in those what, two minute clip. That much just came out, that pile on that pile. To add to the rest that she's sitting at all now, it's great. That's great, we'll just move that around the house, shall we? Lovely. Um, but yeah. I really want to hand this over to somebody now. But it's not fair on the dog to let somebody they don't know brush them. Anyway, I just answer it. I've answered this a million times before, but the reason I do it in the kitchen is because if I did it outside, which is what everyone suggests to do, or everyone suggests to go to a park or, you know, somewhere and do it outside, but it blows everywhere and then um, you get covered in it, whereas this at least keeps it all contained and then it's a towel cloth, so it's nice and easy to just sweep up and bag it. Um, so that's why I do it inside. And also it, it takes hours, this job, it, so I don't want to be sitting outside for hours. I'll get cold. I'd rather just stick the iPad on get distracted and just get to work um, and deal with the clean up thereafter. They do it once the kids go on to bed most of the time, depending upon the situation. But yeah, that's why we do inside. Anyway, thank you for coming to join my groom. If you have any questions, please let me know. Resume. I'm going to finish this video with Milo because he's been dead cute. What, who are you talking to? Why are you talking to me? Come say hi to everybody. Come say hi. Can you hear that purr? Long cat. But I can't get them all in. Can't see that brown. Ready? Oh, I've got your fat fluff in my eye, haven't I? This is what Milo does, and then Nico tries to protect her fur from the cat. Where's he, Milo? Do you want it back, Nico? You've lost at least a couple of kilograms there. She's off. Milo's sitting on it now. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!